Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and in this Power BI tutorial I will going to show you how you can use the custom image on Power BI button. This is a very useful feature if you want to make your dashboard or your report looks like an app or a website where icons are present instead of text on the button which gives a very interactive experience to the end user. So we'll see how you will going to add a custom image on one of the uh, previous example that we have covered in this previous video power bi button with bookmark where we had clear all filter as an action or as a bookmark that we assigned as an action to the button on that button clear all filter we will use the image instead of text so before I move ahead, a quick information that this sheet is present within the description so that you can quickly view all of the videos by searching it in the Google Sheet and here is their YouTube link that I'm maintaining for you. Another thing is if you want to access all of my videos, then you have this another report, the Google Data Studio report. This contains all of my videos related to Click, Tableau, Power BI, Python and all and you can just search it here and get whatever you need by selecting the video you want all right so with that let's move ahead with the power bi the power bi custom image tutorial all right so here we are in the power bi report that we had created or used earlier in previous videos as well and in the previous video i created this clear all filter what it does is basically if you remember i can make any selection over here right and make multiple selection and if i want to clear all the filters in one go i'll just click over here and by holding down the command key and uh, click so it will be filtered uh, or it will remove all the filters irrespective of any number of slicers that you have so if you have five slicers it will clear all the five slicers now this is something fine but how we can make it more interactive well we can have the clear all filter icon so for that what i will do is clear all filter once i do that the google will show me some images and based on the needs that you are having you can get the image so this is taking a little bit of time for me okay so i was having some internet issues and this is resolved so this is clear all filter i can say icon and over here you will see here is the clear all filter you can use this you can use this and what you can do is i will probably use this one and i will uh, right click and save since i have already saved it i will not save it again but what i'll do is come here in this report select this go to first of all the button text i will disable the button text which i entered i have to enable the fill and within fill i need to click on add image and filter remove and i'll click open so once you open you will see that it is not properly aligned and to align it properly what you need to come here do is come here on the image fit and you will click on fit and then you just need to adjust the width and height based on the needs so now this looks really cool if you will see that uh, you have a clear indication that it removes the filter or it clears all the filter so now if i just select maybe this 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 and come back and whenever i need i want to clear all the filters which is here in my report i will hold down my command or can control key and click over here and this will going to remove all the filters that way if you see this this icon is making my report more interactive as compared to a simple text and this is the main thing I wanted to talk to you about, about how you can add an image, uh, a custom image, and make your report more meaningful. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.